Hello every single one of you and welcome in today's video. In this video I'm going to explain to you exactly how you can use the Bybit calculator to calculate your profits, to calculate your liquidation price and many more things on all trading pairs that are over there on Bybit. So guys, let's jump straight into it. At the end of this video you know exactly what you can do with the Bybit calculator. <laughs> First of all, in the top menu right here, you can basically select the pair that you want to calculate things up. That can be the US dollar tether perpetual, but it also can be the inverse perpetual or the inverse futures. In our case, let's just keep it simple. We are going to do it on the Bitcoin pair BTC USDT. That is the US dollar tether perpetual. And the first one is basically the profit and loss that we can calculate. And first of all, you can select whether you are long or short. And we can calculate this profit and loss based on your entry and your closing price. So your potential target, uh, what you are looking at basically. So let's say you are longing Bitcoin with a 10x leverage. Let's say you do that with one Bitcoin with an entry price of 40 thousand us dollars and you closed your trade at 44 thousand us dollars then you can see that your profit is four thousand us dollars because your quantity is only one bitcoin you need to have your margin four thousand us dollars which basically means that your return on investment is a hundred percent your profit and loss of the whole quantity so of the whole order size is ten percent so in pretty simple terms guys we use 0 0.1 Bitcoin, better said 4,000 US dollars because this is the US dollar tether perpetual contract. We use a leverage of 10, which create an order size of 40,000 US dollars. That is 10 times our initial margin, 4,000 US dollars. Then we have a quantity of one Bitcoin, 40,000 is one Bitcoin at this moment because our entry price is 40,000 US dollars. Our closing price, price is 44,000 US dollars, which means that we have a 10% profit on the order, on the order size, on the quantity. But our return on investment is 100% because we only had an initial margin of 4000 us dollar tether so that is very interesting we can also do this with shorts so if you would say let's say you shorted at 40,000 us dollars we would we would have lost our complete position the complete 4000 us dollars guys let's use the same example for the target price to make it more easy but the target price is basically where you can calculate how much profit and loss you are going to have based on a percentage gain so let's do the same thing we have a 10x leverage uh, we have an order size of one bitcoin we entered at 40000 us dollars the return on investment is 100% Right, because our target price is then 44,000 US dollars. We've seen that with the profit and loss. But let's say if we want to have a return on investment of 50%, then the target price is 42,000 US dollars. So here you can, based on your return of investment in percentage terms, you can basically calculate your target. So from your entry point, you want to have like, let's say a 25% profit. You can say, okay, then my target price is 41,000 US dollars. My profit will be 1,000. And my profit and loss of the complete order size will be two and a half percent but for my investment because i'm using a 10x leverage for my investment it will be a 25 percent profit then guys probably this is the most used function of the bybit calculator but this is where you can uh, calculate your liquidation price and of course you first have to select whether you are trading with isolated margin or whether you are trading with cross margin the difference between these two is that with isolated margin you only have the margin in the trade that you put inside that trade. So let's say I have 10,000 US dollar tether in my Bybit account, but I'm using 1,000 US, do US dollar tether for that trade. Then the only margin in the trade is 1,000 US dollar tether. If I have a cross margin, it will just open that trade, but it will use my whole account balance, the 10,000 that I have in my account, 
as margin for the trade and the advantage of cross margin is basically that your liquidation price is way lower because you have more margin but the disadvantage is is that you can lose more money than the money that you are actually putting into that trade so i hope that's very clear guys let's dive straight into it let's start with isolated margin to give you some examples so let's say um similar we want to do the trade that we have been doing so we have a leverage of 10x we do like one bitcoin uh, and we have an entry price of 40,000 US dollars. Then you can see that our liquidation price is 36,200. What you can already see right here is you put 4,000 US dollars in the trade. We've already calculated that before. But if you do 40,000 minus 4,000, you get 36,000. But this actually says 36,200. Why is it 200 higher? Well, for Bybit to ensure that they get their margin because they are borrowing you money, they put that liquidation price a little bit above your margin. So when it breaks down, it gets automatically liquidated and they are pretty sure that they get their money back because you are losing this trade. So what you can always do, guys, if you want to save money, if something hits your liquidation price, Put a stop loss right above your liquidation price. You will always save a little bit money whenever you get liquidated. But now let's have a look at the cross margin section. So let's say our available balance is 10,000 US dollars, right? And in the trade, we actually have 4,000 US dollars because it is a 10x leverage. But um, now it's actually not using the 4,000 US dollars in the trade. It's actually using the margin from your whole account. So you are borrowing based on the funds that you have in your account. Now you can see that your liquidation price is already way lower. It's at 30,238. But do take in mind though, that is very important. If we do come down to meet that liquidation price, you will lose the complete 10,000 in your account. So it really depends on your trading style a little bit. Some people really like isolated margin. You just can lose what you put in your trade. And some like cross margin because you have a little bit more space with that liquidation price so yeah definitely me personally i'm using mainly isolated margin but i could understand whenever people are using cross margin too however they should really be aware of the fact that you can lose a big chunk of yeah you can lose your complete account if you are using cross margin the last function guys of the bybit calculator is actually calculating your average entry price so let's say you want to long bitcoin but you don't want to enter at one specific level you want to enter at different levels so let's say we want to long bitcoin at 43,000, or let's say let's say 40,200, and then we do 0 0.1 right here and then we want to add at 40 thousand we have 0 0.1 bitcoin then we want to have 40,100 we want to add a 0 0.1 bitcoin then we have 40,300 you get the point right 0 0.1 bitcoin then we do 40,000 40,400 0 0.1 bitcoin and then you can see right here that the average entry price is 40,200 so sometimes it can be very nice when you average down in your entry. So you don't pick one specific level where you go long or short. Why? Because it's very difficult to predict the exact top and bottom. But you can scale into a trade. So you say like, okay, when we are getting closer to 40, I'm starting scaling in. Um, so I'm starting already at 40,400. But if we go lower, the trade will be adding up. So the lower we go, the bigger the position size. And that is what you can basically um calculate right here and yeah of course for this is would be the same the long and short but you can basically calculate an average entry price for your long or for your short positions so guys this is how you use the bybit calculator to your advantage and how you can calculate your profit and loss based on entry levels based on return on investment liquidation price and average entry price guys if you learned anything from this video make sure to leave a thumbs up if you are new make sure to subscribe down below very much appreciate it and guys i want to mention 
mention that I've made a ton load of tutorials about how to use Bybit in the best way and create, for example, a passive income over on Bybit using copy trading strategies, using trading bots, using spot trading grids, using futures martingale trading grids. I have also videos where I'm talking about how you can basically open leverage positions using kind of a limit order but get it exactly at the market order so there are really a lot of tricks that you can apply over on bybit to save on fees to or sometimes like almost don't pay any fees at all or to create a passive income using automated trading strategies for example combining trading view to your bybit account and let that automate your trading i've made tutorials on all of these subjects and i put all of these subjects down below in the description you can find it over on there you can also find it over on my um, youtube channel page on the bybit tutorials make sure to watch these videos as they will bring a lot of knowledge to you for free on how to use bybit in a very in-depth way then for the ones that are not yet have an account over on bybit make sure to check the affiliate link down below in the description because if you join bybit with the specific affiliate link down below you can get a deposit bonus up to thirty thousand us dollars guys i want to thank you all for watching i hope you uh, learned something today and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video